Hi guys. Um, hey, hi. It's been a little while since I've live streamed and Ulta Beauty just released their 21 Days of Beauty list. So I really wanted to hop on here. I haven't looked at the list yet. I don't know if you guys have looked. I haven't looked at the list yet. I only saw the first day because I had to with like linking and stuff. Sorry. I had to with linking and stuff. So I wanted to take a look at the list with you guys. I am very excited for 21 Days of Beauty. Uh, they haven't talked about it or anything. I wasn't sure if it was even happening. I had a couple of you guys even message me asking me if I had any insight because if you guys didn't know this, I do work for Ulta Beauty. Um, I just work there as an associate. I'm going to turn my light on really quick. And I grabbed a little lip balm. I'm just in bed. I woke up from a nap. I woke up to um, someone saying, one of my friends texting me, saying that they saw the list for Ulta Beauty. So yeah, I'm just going to apply some lip balm. I am... <laughs> This was an Ulta Beauty find, Dr. Pawpaw. How many of you guys have um, tried this out? It's doc it's the Dr. Pawpaw Rich Mocha Balm. It's in the shade Rich Mocha. Multi-purpose soothing balm with a natural pawpaw. I don't know what pawpaw is. Yeah, well, my girl. Hi, girl. What are you thinking, girl? Hi. <laughs> We were just taking a nice little nappy. Hey, girl. Um, if you guys head over to my Instagram, my Instagram is just my name if you guys don't follow me on there already. But Miss Wilma Girl had the cutest little picture today. So I, um, can you guys see that okay? Yeah, a little bit. So I got a new shelf. I uh, went like to a little antique shop today and they were selling this shelf there like a rattan shelf like a vintage rattan shelf and I got it for only $125 which is crazy because all of the rattan shelves that I've seen like on Facebook marketplace that I was like going to buy if like I saw one that I liked enough and that was like a good enough price I was able to pick up this shelf for $125. It's nicer than any rattan shelf that I've seen on Facebook Marketplace. So yeah, I really lucked out. I am filming this weekend. Like I'm vlogging this weekend. So you guys will see that in a vlog. But there's 24 of us hanging out right now. I am going to go through the list. I'm pretty excited. The first day um, starts this Sunday. So August 30th. Uh, the Foreo Luna Mini 2 is going to be half off, which I think is a really nice um, Kyla Fish just, Kyla, yes, Kyla Fish just posted about um, her Foreo on like a skincare video and hers was yellow. It was super cute. The ones at Ulta, they only have, um, Praying some for some variation this time. Yeah, I am too. I think like already seeing the first thing, the fact that one of the Foreos is is on sale. I'm gonna turn my brightness down. I think you guys can see. Mm, we have to find a happy medium. I think you guys can see better. Um, yeah. So the Foreos being 50% off is a pretty good deal. So I actually think that Clairsonic was bought out by Foreo. So Clairsonic is um, going out of business. And I think Foreo is taking over, which I think is awesome because Foreo markets themselves as actually being pretty um, like eco-friendly in a way because you buy one of their devices. You don't have to replace it. You don't have to buy replacement heads. It's silicone. So you laugh. So it's like lasting forever. Also, it doesn't harvest any bacteria and it's very, very easy to clean, which I think is really cool. Unlike the Clairsonic, I do have a Clairsonic. I've only used it a couple of times. I bought it because it was on sale one time and I got a really good price, but yeah, the, the uh, little brush head kind of freaks me out because it does uh, harbor a lot of bacteria. So, 
benefit precisely my brow pen my brow brow pencil is another one on sale that's a that's a staple um usually they do have the anastasia brow pencils but we'll see i haven't seen the rest of the list um if you are a diamond platinum member you do get the all-nighter setting spray for 50 percent off this sunday so that'll be cool um oh shoot yeah, all nighter. This is always, always a good time to stock up on setting spray. Always a good time to stock up on setting spray. So definitely take advantage of that. Uh, let's see for Monday. Beauty Blender solids. Um, by the way, I do have a link to 21 Days of Beauty in the bio of this uh, live stream. So if you guys wanted to check out 21 Days of Beauty as I'm talking about all of these products, be my guest, you know, have it, have it opened up on your, on your browser. Just shop with me, you know, Beauty Blender Solids. Um, that is a good, that's a good deal. Pretty decent. I will say though, I've been liking my Morphe one. Let me check the price of the Morphe one. Morphe, uh, cleansing solid. Let me see. Uh, the Morphe one is 13. Oh, it's sold out. That's weird. Um, dang, I don't know how much the Morphe one sells for regularly. Um, weird. Well, I got mine from Morphe. I don't think it's really any more expensive than the Beauty Blender Solid, but I've tried both. Personally, I prefer the Morphe one. I think that the Beauty Blender Solid uh, little sponge, like little uh, silicone, not sponge, but silicone, uh, where you just swirl your brush in, the silicone mat, it's not as good as the Morphe one. Like it's, it's not as detailed, so you can't get a good clean with the Beauty Blender Solid, but I think the soap is okay. Some Murad skincare. I'm not really that interested. Dermalogica Rapid Reveal Peel. Not that interested. Uh, Grande Lash Brow Enhancing Serum. Dang, I would be interested in the Grande Lash. Grande Cosmetics if it was the Grande Lash, but it's the Grande Brow. So I might, I'm going to skip out on that one because it's not the Lash. But I would definitely have considered if it was the um, lashes, not the brows. And then Diamond and Platinum Exclusive is um, a MAC bestseller trio. I don't think that's super exciting. Um, moving along, September 1st, so a Tuesday. Um, oh, we have some online-only deals. Okay, so Bare Minerals Mineral Veils are all going to be 50% off. I think that's a pretty good deal if the Mineral Veil works for you. My issue I've had with the Mineral Veil is it's a pretty drying powder, so unless you're very, very oily, I think Mineral Veil is a good option for you. Hey, Kelly. Uh, Mark Medescu Regimen Kits, that is a pretty good uh, deal if you guys are wanting to get a skincare regimen. But the thing with that is that they are all travel size. So yeah, I just don't, I wouldn't personally think that that's like a deal to take advantage of, but they are going to be 50% off, which I think makes the kits priced at a more reasonable price than what they already are. Um, well, but what are you chewing on, girl? Oh my goodness, you were trying to get a little snacky. Ah, I have to be right back. I'm gonna get Wilma a little snack so she's not um sad. Girl, you want a little cookie? If you guys have a Trader Joe's by you, Wilma loves these um chicken hides, I think they are, and they're just freeze-dried chicken cutlets, I think. I don't know. She's obsessed with them. She loves them. So if you guys have a dog and if you guys have a Trader Joe's, they're pretty cheap and she loves them. So, okay. So getting back to it, there's some uh, online only deals on Tuesday. Lash food, you know, that's probably a good 
a good lash enhancing serum. Uh, Lime Crime Wet Cherry Glosses. I really like the Wet Cherry Glosses. I think that those are really cute. I think nine bucks for them is a really good price. Um, I really like the Cherry Gloss in the shade. Uh, they have a really cute pinky brown nude. Yes, Bitter Cherry. Ugh. I want you guys to be able to see. Bitter Cherry is a really good pinky brown nude uh, gloss in the Lime Crime Wet Cherry Gloss formula. So highly recommend that. It does smell like cherry medicine, but it's not the same cherry as the Glossier Cherry Bomb.com. I think that bomb.com smells so bad. I think it reminds me of a ba gas station bathroom. The Lime Crime glosses do not smell like a gas station bathroom, but I do know people don't like the glosses because the smell of cherry is so strong. It's like true, like a medicine cherry, but that doesn't bother me. Um, and then their clear gloss I have and the gloss, clear gloss is good. And then they have some Ico mascaras. Not too interested in that. Um, I lost the page. Hold on, give me one moment. Uh, Wednesday. So KKW eyeshadow palettes are on sale. I will say uh, I currently like prop current. I say currently. I probably won't be again ever really. Um, buying from KKW or Kylie Cosmetics. Just personal preference. Um, I think there's a lot of other really amazing brands out there. They don't really need my support. However, if you do want some good neutral everyday eyeshadow palettes, good quality, they're also going to be pretty affordable on Wednesday. The KKW eyeshadow palettes, um, I do have the classic eyeshadow palette. Like, I own it. I bought it a few, uh, like, probably a year ago at this point, whenever we first started selling KKW. So that eyeshadow palette, it is pretty nice quality, and it'll be $22.50 on Wednesday if you did want to pick that up for, like, just a really uh, good everyday eyeshadow palette. It really doesn't make it that different in price than like a big L'Oreal eyeshadow palette at that point if you do get it on sale. So yeah, personally, I'm not going to be, um, well, I don't need to pick it up. I already own it, but I am not going to be supporting those brands moving forward, but that is something to keep in mind. Um, some dietary supplement I'm not interested in. I have a Supplement routine that I like already. Um, oh my gosh, I'm I'm the same way. I like I texted my friend Rachel, who also works at Ulta, and she. I was like, do I even need anything though? Like I'm saving money right now, and Rachel was like, I don't need anything, but that doesn't mean anything. Like like we're on we're all the same. I don't know why I'm like this either. So also on Wednesday, they're having some online only sales from like self care items is what they're calling it. Patchology has like a petty, uh, like a, like a foot peel treatment. Um, Kapari deodorant will be on sale. Not, oh yeah, 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 yeah. It'll be on sale. That's an okay natural deodorant. I am going to be coming out with a full video on all of my favorite natural deodorants. So stay on the lookout for that. Um, and I will feature Kapari and like talk about my feelings about that. Um, the Tarte Sugar Rush Body Butter is on there. Elemis Superfood Face Face Oil. These are just weird. And then all of the Kapari deodorants are on sale too. So Mm, not too interested in anything on Wednesday the 2nd. I am glad that I did this, though. I really, um, looking at the Ulta Beauty 21 Days of Beauty list is always, like, one of my favorite things to do. Oh, my gosh. On Thursday. We are going to get some good ones on Thursday, you guys. Okay. Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Setting Powder actually is a product that I have been interested in. 
I just think the idea of it is nice. I like the idea of having um, a pressed setting powder, something that is easy to travel with. And, um, oh, odd. That's odd that ads even ran on the live stream. Um, yeah, that's weird. I don't think I monetized the live stream before. It didn't ask me. That is weird. Um, yeah, odd. Well, at least it wasn't a Trump ad, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so Urban Decay, All Nighter, Waterproof Setting Powder. I think I am going to keep, I think I am going to pick that up actually. Um, just something easy, something like quick dusting it on my skin. I think I would like that. Yeah, odd. Um, I do really like working at Ulta. I would recommend it to anybody that's interested in cosmetics and working in retail. I just really like um, sales even. Like I really like being in a retail environment. I think it's really fun. Uh, obviously it has a lot to do with like the type of people that you're working with. I've been fortunate enough to like work with very good people, but I also know that sometimes retail environments can be very toxic. So yeah, Ulta has been good for me though. I think I like it because it is small. I think that if I was going to, if I was like going to work in a department store, uh, that would be a little much for me, but I really love working at Ulta. I am uh, going to be quitting soon though. I put in my two weeks and my last day is next Thursday. And yeah, my Ulta journey as of right now is over, but it's still my favorite over Sephora. So I'll obviously be continuing to shop there and talk about it and stuff. So the next product that's on sale, um, is from Buxom. Their full force lipsticks are going to be 20 bucks or $10. My bad. They're going to be, they're regularly 20. And, um, yeah, it is bittersweet leaving a job like that. I, I really enjoy it, but I got a really good opportunity that I'm definitely going to be talking about, um, here soon and like a get ready with me or something. So I'm really, really looking forward to my new job. It's just going to be so great. Um, so the Buxom Full Force lipsticks are going to be 10 bucks. I think that's a pretty good price. And I will tell you, I've always had my eye on the shade Boss. It is just, it just is described as a cinnamon, but Boss is a good pinky brown nude. So I've had my eye on that shade for a while. I think Icon 2 I've had my eye on, but that'll be easy to look up swatches of, I'm sure. So that's something to keep in mind. I don't know if I'm going to get it, but we'll see um skincare from pure minerals not really interested yeah just not interested in any skincare products really um Too Faced bronzers I do sell the milk chocolate soleil quite often for um like anytime a customer is coming in and they are looking for their like fair skin and they're looking for a bronzer. I always sell them either the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil bronzer or the Becca bronzer in Bali Sands, I think it's called. Uh, might be the whatever the first Becca bronzer is in the lineup. Um, so if you're very fair and you're looking for a good bronzer, the Milk Chocolate Soleil. Uh, matte bronzer from Too Faced will be on sale on Tuesday, and I really like that bronzer. Oh, the Sweethearts bronzer, baked luminous glow bronzer is pretty good too. That'll all be 50% off, which is cool. Stila glitter and glows online only. I would freaking take advantage of this sale, to be honest. Sometimes it is hard to shell out the $24 for a Stila glitter and glow, but Honest to God, these are worth it, in my opinion, if you find a shade that you love. Because this, these are like those kinds of eyeshadows that are the special occasion. You put it on, you feel, you just feel sparkly. You just feel like, yes, my look is good. This is an evening. This is a night for me. 
I'm gonna have a good time. I look beautiful. I look, you know, take a picture of me. I just really like the Stila Glitter and Glows. They're so fun. They're such a fun way of incorporating glitter into a look. So definitely, definitely look into getting those because they'll be 12 bucks, uh, usually 24. Rose Gold Retro is a good shade. Kitten Karma, Smoldering Satin, Bronze Bell, all very good shades from the Stila Glitter and Glow lineup. So yeah, Thursday looks like it's going to be a good day. Let's see, Friday, oh, Makeup Eraser, you guys! Makeup Eraser is going to be on sale. Okay, so first product, Lancome Monsieur Big. I highly recommend that mascara. I think it's a very good one. Anytime someone's coming into Ulta wanting a very voluminous, like, very deep mascara, I really recommend the Lancome Monsieur Big to a lot of people. Again, not interested in skincare, but Peter Thomas Roth, their cloud line is going to be on sale. Oh, their water drench line is going to be on sale. Oh, there was a, oh, it's not on there. Um, the water drench sunscreen looked kind of nice. I saw uh, State of Kate use that on her Instagram story. So yes, this is gonna be awesome. The 21 Days of Beauty sale does have makeup erasers on Friday the 4th, you guys. So Friday the 4th, pick up your makeup eraser. I love my makeup eraser. I don't use makeup wipes anymore at all. Um, makeup eraser is a great, great alternative to makeup wipes, especially because you'll be able to get the makeup eraser for 10 bucks. That's basically two months of makeup wipes and then you never have to buy makeup wipes again. Literally never again. Um, I do recommend probably getting two of them. I do like my black one because it doesn't stain, but the pink one is cute. It will stain. There's no avoiding it. I guess maybe if you like listen to the cleaning directions, but I definitely do not. And it doesn't hinder the quality of it. So yeah, pick up two makeup erasers. You won't regret it that day. It'll be two for 20, one for 10. I think that you'll really like it. Girl, you already had a cookie. You're not having another. You are not having another. And then the only other product that looked, so on Friday, they are selling a skincare fridge. How much is that skincare fridge going to be? Because my boyfriend got me one and I really like mine. Oh, it's not bad. 60 bucks for a skincare fridge. <laughs> I wash my brush every day or my makeup razor every day because I get nervous I get an eye infection. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I'm that nervous about that, but I can see someone being nervous about that. So PMD Personal Microderm Pro. I actually own one of these. I, yeah, I own one. I got it on sale. I de definitely did not pay 20 bucks for that. I've used it once. So probably gonna, probably should go ahead and skip that. It's not worth it. Ooh, I really like when a shape tape goes on sale because that always means that people are going to buy them up. Um, just thinking about working on 21 Days of Beauty. Oh, I'm going to miss it. I'm really going to miss working like in sales like that. It really isn't that fun right now, though, because I have to wear a mask and I can't try out any of the product on anybody. So it's not the same. But shape tape. Pretty decent concealer. I, it's not my favorite, but that's personal preference because it's a lot of people's favorites. Like people adore this concealer. I believe when I wore it, I was a medium sand. So if that helps out anybody, uh, medium sand is described as a medium skin with yellow undertones. Shade range on the shape tape, it should absolutely be improved, but it just hasn't been. So yeah, it, it's a shame. They have a lot of colors, but it, the shade range just isn't that great. It's very, it's very warm tone leaning. But they, this product for diamond and platinum members is going to be 50% off. I think that's a great time to take advantage of getting, picking one of these up. I think it is a good concealer. 
Um, it's long wearing. It's going to be pretty full coverage. I think it's pretty drying. I would not recommend it for someone who had very dry skin. But a product, a very underrated product, I um, will say, is the Tarte Shape Tape Glow Wand. And this product actually launched like right before COVID happened, like right before COVID happened, this product launch. And I think if COVID didn't happen, I actually think this product would have been quite popular. But the Shape Tape Glow Wand is not a concealer, but it's like a, how do I describe this? Um, Charlotte Tilbury might have a, like a, something like this. Um, to full coverage and matte yeah it's it's a pretty full coverage concealer but the shape tape glow wand is so pretty I think I have one in a glow maybe I think I have one in a glow it's very pretty it's a very underrated product and it is going to be 50% off on Saturday so that's something to keep an eye out for. I personally really like it. It's a very pretty, subtle, liquid highlight. Sorry, I just burped. So you really use it on the high points of your cheeks. If you're going to go in with like a very full coverage matte product, but that's really not for you, I bet that you could put it underneath of your eyes. So I think the intention of the... Wilma, are you joking me? Are you joking me? Did you just take that out of the nightstand? Hold on, I have to get the little bag of treats. Because she really did just snatch that up. Come here, girl. Good girls don't take snacks that they're not allowed to take, girly. Okay. So the glow wand, you know what? While I'm while I am up I might as well grab it so what shade do I have oh I actually have the shade dream yeah I think maybe like the Hollywood flawless filter no that's a foundation I think this doesn't really have coverage to it I think that's the like that's sort of the difference um, it looks like it would, oh, see, you can tell, it's very reflective, and it's just really pretty. It's like a very soft, similar to a Benefit High Beam. I actually think that's really a good, um, <laughs> I actually think it's a really, that's a really good comparison. It's very similar to High Beam from Benefit. No, not very, not like future do, um, really what? But I actually think that this product is really cute and doesn't get as much attention as any of their other, other products, but, um, this is actually really, really cute. I might, maybe tomorrow I should film, well, don't hold me to it, I might not, but maybe I should film a little video of, like, my favorites from the... 21 days of beauty sale. Uh, I think the cool thing about this product is you can wear it under and over. Like it's, it can be used as a highlight or it can be used from as a glow from within product. Wilma is a Chihuahua miniature poodle mix with bad genes because her parents were probably siblings is uh, what I was told by the DNA test. Um, I actually got a DNA test done on her because she's very hairless. Like she, this is skin. She doesn't have any hair there. She has a little bit on her back, but you can definitely see her skin through. She has a little bit on her face and her paws, but you're just a little hairless baby. Mwah. You're just a little hairless baby. She's so cute. But yeah, I got a DNA test done on her like a few months after I got her. And... I ended up contacting Wisdom Panel because I was like, hey, I got these results back, but like my dog's hairless. Like, can you please explain that to me? And they like dug a little deeper in her DNA and found that her parents were siblings. So 
do I put sunscreen on her? Sometimes I do. I, because there aren't a lot of hairless dogs out in the world, um, there's not a lot of, like, options in terms of dog sunscreen. And the dog sunscreen that is out there is, like, really intended for fur. And that kind of freaks me out because I don't want to put a lot of chemicals on her. So that is something that I like, I think about that all the time because she does have sunspots on her head. And I've asked doctors and like dentists or not dentists, vets before about her little sunspots. And they said that they're fine. Like, you know, it's just her um, does freak me out though. And either way though, she doesn't spend that much time outside. So she doesn't really hang out outside. Right, girl, look at this. Look at you, girl. You're just so cutie. And um, she does wear clothes sometimes when we are going to be outside, so that, that will protect her from the sun a bit. Tula, another skincare product I'm just not interested in. So let's keep looking. So Sunday, the Anastasia Luminous Foundation is going to be 50% off. I'm honestly surprised that this is the first time I'm seeing this product on sale because this product kind of flopped, in my opinion. Um, yeah, it just kind of flopped. I don't think this product really impressed anyone. And I did buy two of two bottles uh, of it because I wanted to try it out and I not anything that super duper impressed me. Um, Paracone has some stuff on sale. They usually come through with a sale on 21 Days of Beauty. Clinique eyeliners are on sale. Nothing I'm interested in and Derma Doctor, uh, their, uh, one of their vitamin C peels is on sale and I'm just not really interested in it. So Sunday is a uh, a flop for me, not really seeing anything. All right, so we're getting some repeats uh, from like last year and the year before and the year before that. So the Too Faced Natural palettes are going to be on sale. I think that's a pretty good deal. I've heard um, these palettes are a staple for a lot of people. So if you can pick it up 50% off, that's a great deal to me. Uh, Derma Blend powders are always on sale, girl. Can't you just relax? Can't you just relax? Derma Blend powders are always on sale uh, for 21 Days of Beauty. I'm not going to pick one up. I already own one and I hardly ever use it. It's not my favorite. Um, but I guess if I needed a setting powder, it's not a bad choice. Something from Estee Lauder is on sale. Per or, uh, Peter Thomas Roth, their anti-aging cleanser is on sale. Uh, philosophy, micro delivery, uh, exfoliating face wash is also going to be on sale. Um, I have tried that before, not too bad, but I was like getting to the bottom of the bottle and like wishing that it would finish up because I was just so overusing it. It's not, I actually don't recommend it. Don't bother picking that up. Ooh, this is a good one. So Lily Lashes, House of Lashes, Velour Lashes, and Blinking Butte, all faux mink lashes are going to be 50% off. That's a really good deal. Not too bad um, if we're into wearing lashes right now. I think lashes are all cool, especially if we're all mask wearers and, you know, we want to play out the eyes a little bit. I think this is a good opportunity to pick up some high quality lashes. Um, this is Tuesday, September 8th, by the way. Juice Beauty is having some skincare. Not interested in that. Uh, two online purchases, online only purchases I'm pretty interested in are the Nude Sticks uh, Eyeshadows Matte and Luminous Eye Colors are going to be on sale. So that's something to keep in mind because they're kind of expensive. $26, in my opinion, for an eyeshadow stick. A little bit expensive. Uh, they are going to be $13 on Tuesday, next Tuesday. And then 
Um, the Lancome Skin Feels Good Hydrating Tint and Moisturizer. You guys, I actually really like this product. I haven't talked about it too much. I talked about it uh, February. I got it in February. Um, I really like it. I think it's a really great tinted moisturizer. Uh, it's a, a little bit more full covered than a tinted moisturizer, to be honest. I think I wear the shade Fresh Almond in the Lancome Skin Feels Good. Yeah, yeah. The nude sticks are a little overpriced. Their eyeshadow, eyeshadows are a little overpriced. So if you are interested, I definitely think taking advantage of the sale would be a good idea. But the Lancome Skin Feels Good Tinted Moisturizer is going to be $17.50, which I think is a really good deal if you are in the market for um, a complexion, like a tinted moisturizer kind of thing. Um, hey, Shay. So I am shade... Fresh Almond um, 035W. It's described as medium skin with warm yellow undertones. It is a kind of yellow. Like it's a little bit more yellow than I typically go for. So uh, let's see. I might would go with a Golden Sand, which is medium skin with neutral undertones. But... Yeah, I recommend the Lancome Skin Feels Good. I think that anyone that picks it up would really enjoy it. Uh, what shade am I for MAC? I don't really know, to be honest. Uh, last time I checked, NC42 worked pretty well for me. But I remember being in middle school and picking up, like, NC25 concealers. But who knew their shade in middle school? You know what I mean? Nobody knew their shade in middle school. I think NC42 is a safe bet, though. <gasps> you guys, Wednesday is going to be a good one. Oh, my goodness. Ooh, Wednesday is going to be a good one. September 9th. Middle school, my middle school shade was not it. Yeah, it definitely was not it. I don't know. NC25, I think I probably used NC25 because, like, all the beauty gurus wore NC25 and... Even if I didn't match the beauty gurus, I was still going to wear it. Um, <laughs> Becca primers, 50% off. I really liked the Becca primers for a while. The backlight priming filter was a big favorite of mine for a little while. So would recommend those. Uh, MAC lip liners in Whirl and Soar. And the Prep and Prime Lip Primer. Those are all going to be 50% off. That's pretty good. If you like those shades. Uh, Whirl and Soar are two shades that I like. And two shades that I do find to be flattering on me. But Max Spice. Max Spice is where, is where it's at. Oh, Shay, did you get a chance to use your new blushes and your... Ink Credible Lip Balm yet. I'd love to know what your thoughts are on the products. So, you guys, on Wednesday, September 9th, um, the Oma Beauty Say What Foundation. Of course, of course. I remember your little Instagram and all of that. Um, the Oma Beauty Say What Foundation is going to be 50% off. And this foundation is good, you guys. This foundation is good. 51 shades, an amazing shade range. What am I in this foundation? Um, I am Honey Honey. Honey Honey T2N is my shade in the... No, 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 no. Dang it. Um, because I know a lot of you guys watch the references, I am going to go ahead and get the foundation. I'm, I'll take you guys with me. Oh, yes. The lip product is so moisturizing. Um, I hope that you enjoy the blushes. The blushes are very nice. Let me see. The Oma Beauty Foundation is in a different room from me. Okay, so in the Oma Beauty Foundation, I use the shade Honey Honey T1N. Highly recommend this foundation. I think it's amazing. Let me see before I get up 
to leave. Let's see the other products that are for sale. My Ulta Beauty discount is 25% off. However, we cannot use it on the Ulta Beauty 21 Days of Beauty sale. Beauty Bakery baking powder is going to be 50% off. That's a pretty good deal. Um, Jane Iredell, $50 for a BB cream? That's expensive. Um, Zoeva palettes are going to be 50% off. That's all, that's all really nice. Yeah, you guys. Wednesday is going to be a good day. Wednesday is going to be a good day for sales. So let's keep going. Okay. I'm going to go back in my bed. It's just more comfortable. So September 10th. The It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream, 50% off. We are going to sell so many of those. I just know it. We always sell so much It Cosmetics all the time. We That's like, we sell it all the time. So It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream, if you're interested, it's a good time to pick it up. Cover FX Monochromatic Blush and Bronzer Duos. I'll be honest, I bought quite a few of these when they did go on sale last time. I didn't love them. I didn't really like them. Yeah, mixed reviews. I don't love them. Let me, you, I, I'll go ahead and get the ones that I have so you guys can see. Bare Minerals Concealers. That's going to be a good one. And then the Lorac Pro Palette. Plural, yeah, Lorac Pro pal palettes are gonna be sale. Let me grab the Cover FX blushes for you guys. Okay, so I have Sunkissed Bronze. They are really pretty. They're just kind of dry, in my opinion. So. Yeah, well, Lorac apparently is like 90% off in my store. I don't know about other stores, but Lorac is on heavy sale. So this one is Sunkissed Bronze. Um, and then Warm Honey. I didn't really like this one. I just don't really like that shade. It's a little bit too mauve for me. If, like, it was a little bit more peachy, I think I'd like it a little more. Yeah, they're, like, dry and dusty and just not great. And then this one is Spiced Cinnamon. And, again, it's something about that one. I just don't really like it. Very beautiful compacts. If, if these worked better, I would say totally, like, think about picking them up. But I just don't love them. I have tried the e.l.f. duos. They are cute. For some reason, I don't know why this is, but I find the eyeshadow formula to be much better quality than the blush duos, which is odd because they, you know, could have been the same formula, but I just think that I, the, um, yeah, Sid, don't worry about purchasing Sorry, I'm very burpy today. Don't worry about purchasing those. I don't think that you'll like them very much. The e.l.f. duos, I don't think are that good of quality compared to the bite-sized eyeshadows that they have. But for three bucks, they are pretty good. Not gonna lie. Um, they're not bad. So St. Tropez Express Mousse, if you are wanting to self-tan, the um, Express Mousse isn't a bad one. However... I wouldn't recommend it to someone who was lighter in skin tone to me because even on myself, I have like a, you know, already a pretty, pretty base tan going on like naturally, but this bronzer was intense on me or this self tanner was intense on me. Granted, they do have one, two, and three hours, and I had mine on for past the three hours, but it was intense. Like, I probably shouldn't have, have had it on for that long, but I just would be scared to recommend it to anyone that was lighter than me. I think that would be, like, a mistake. Pretty decent um, 
self tanner though from Saint Tropez. They're pretty good. Bare Minerals concealers. I really like the Bare Skin concealer. It just looks like this. It's a serum concealer, and I love the consistency of a serum. And in that, I wear the shade um, Medium Golden in the Bare Minerals serum concealer. Decent concealer. Very much like it. And then we just have some more skincare and then the Lorac palettes. So let's keep moving. I keep losing my page, the page that I'm on. Friday, uh, Urban Decay All Nighter pencils are going to be 50% off, and the Philosophy Ultimate Miracle Worker is going to be 50% off. I think this is a good time to pick up some. 24 7 glide on eye pencils though because uh i think a liner is very in right now i think a lot of people are doing some fun looks with liner i think a eye pencil is much more user friendly than a liquid liner so definitely take advantage of that of that sale uh, I will say my personal favorite shades, um, I might as well go get them too. Sorry for all the back and forth. I might just, my desk is so messy though. Um, I was thinking about maybe just hanging out right here instead, just sitting here. Mm, lighting is not bad. Let's do it. Yes, they are way better than the color slides. Okay, you guys get the bad side, but it's fine. We'll, we'll all survive it. Um, let me show you guys my swatches. Hopefully this is fine. Like hopefully you guys are fine with me um, going through all of this because I know it's kind of time consuming, but I think it's fun. I do have a lot of makeup in the other room though. Um, I don't know where my whiskey shade is. Well, okay, so this shade is one of my favorites. It's Torch, and it's a very unique. It's like a very burnt orange. Can you guys see that? It's like a very matte burnt orange, and I think that's so cool. It is such a unique shade. So if you guys are interested in something that's going to be, like, still a color, but a little bit more wearable, torch is cool it's like a burnt orange it's very very cool uh did i leave my phone over there i'm a mess because um i don't have too many fun colors from urban decay i think i'm gonna pick up some fun colors like chaos this bright blue i think would be cool and Freak, this bright green or um, blue or bright green. I don't know why I had a hard time with that. Um, yeah, Torch, they describe as a Sienna. So I really like those. I think that you guys should. Oh, well, how are you liking it? Yes, Torch and Whiskey are my favorite shades. They are so bomb. I really should straighten up my desk, but I'll do that later. September 12th, Kylie lip kits are going on sale. I don't know anybody who's buying those anymore. Mario Badescu grab and go travel set. Wilma, you are so clingy. I act like I don't love it. I'm obsessed with her. She was like begging to come up. Online only, It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream is going to be 50% off. People are going to want to take advantage of that for sure. Confidence in a Cream, I think, is good. I think it's, um, you know, a pretty, like, if you're not super into skincare and that's the one product that you're using, I think you're doing all right. Um, I think there's better stuff out there. There's definitely things with better ingredients. But if that's the only thing that you're doing and you're happy with it, I'm here for it. Sunday, September 13th, Too Faced Hangover Primer and Setting Spray. I did really like the primer for a while, to be honest, but I probably wouldn't purchase it again. Just not interested. Um, 
Skin Iceland Hydro Firming Eye Gels. These always go on sale and these always sell out. So probably would pick up if you are wanting some self-care items. Very nice. Um, that's it. We have Clinique ID. Nobody's wanting to buy that. That, that line flopped for sure. And Dr. Brandt Needles No More Wrinkle Soothing Cream. Not interested. Ooh, we got a lot of stuff for the 14th, you guys. Monday the 14th. Um, Stila Stay All Day Liquid Eyeliners. Our eyeliner is going to be 50% uh, off. If you need to re-up a liquid liner, I think that this is the time to do it. Lancome primer, eyelid pri eye eyelash primer, you know, not really into an eyelash primer, but if you're into it, you're into it. You guys, my Buxom Plump Liner is going to be on sale on Monday, um, Monday the 14th. So Buxom Plump Liner. In the shade Hush Hush. My one of my favorite pinky brown nudes. It's really amazing. I will say that the NYX Dazed and Diffused uh, lip liners or lipsticks as they call them, they are dupe for the plump liners from Buxom, but with the plump liner being on sale, that makes them nine bucks and that makes them the same price, I'm pretty sure, as the NYX pencils and they do come in more colors. So I think if you were more fair skinned, you would really love the shade Incognito in the Buxom Plump Liner. Incognito is a little pale for me, but I think someone with lighter skin, that would be a perfect pinky brown nude for them. Um, Hush Hush, my all time favorite. And then I really like the shade, uh, what was the other shade? It's a little deeper. Undercover. Undercover is a really good one, but it's a lot deeper. So if you are um, looking for like a deeper pinky brown nude, you'd probably like Undercover. Lipstick Queen is going on sale. That's cool. Um, Sarah Hap, the lip slip. I really like that. The Sarah Hap lipstick lip slip was actually my very first a luxury lip balm that I ever bought and that kind of started up my whole obsession with luxury lip balms so I really like that one it's a little sticky but I love the stick so yeah and then some Ofra lippies are on sale too but I'm not too interested in those and then just some more skincare from Exuvians and Strybectin and I'm not super interested in skincare right now because I'm just trying to use up what I have. I did post a skincare routine today. It didn't do very well, but it's up there if you guys are wanting to watch it. Um, yeah, who doesn't just love makeup talks? I'm sorry you can't take advantage of the awesome sale, though. It's quite the bummer. So Tuesday, September 15th, we have some good sales going on, too. Uh, Benefit Boing Cakeless. Cakeless Concealer. Shade range for that. Cakeless Concealer is awful, though. Only 14 shades. I don't think I could find a shade in this. Yeah. I, yeah, no. I'm not even going to entertain it. I'm not going to be able to find a shade in that, which is just annoying, but it is what it is because Benefit is not a very inclusive brand anyway. Uh, Crepe Erased Advanced Body Repair Treatment. I really like this product, actually. It's very hydrating. They make a very good body cream. Um, and it's going to be 50% off, which I would not buy at full price. Full price, it's 80 bucks. It's like a little too much for me, but it's pretty good. Cover effect setting powders are going to be on sale, but online only. Um, I don't know. I've never tried it before. Probably would, would try it if I was interested in picking up a powder, but I'm not at the moment. And then they do have some skincare sets that are going to be on sale. And um, one of those sets are the Proactive Original three-step system. So if you wanted to pick that up, it is going to be 
50% off or so my thing on proactive I used to use it when I was in middle school and I find found that it helped me when I was in middle school um but I wouldn't use it now I just wouldn't use it now because I know that there's better things out there but I think proactive is good for young people who are wanting to get into skincare and men like I, I think that that is probably what proactive is good for men who just need the three-step system because my boyfriend was using proactive for a little bit Wednesday, September 16th is, um, okay, I'm going to definitely lose viewers, but I have to pee so bad. So I'm just going to leave you guys for one second. I'll be back so quick. I have to pee. I'll be back though, okay? I'll see you in two seconds. Okay, I'm back. Okay. Smashbox primers are going to be on sale Wednesday, September 16th. Uh... Oh, not all the primers. Only the photo focus finish, fo photo finish, oil and shine, and vitamin face glow primers are going to be on sale. That's interesting. I probably won't pick up either of those either. Exuvian's performance peel is going to be on sale. I am going to be working at um, Ulta. My last day is Thursday, so no. I'm not going to be working at Ulta past Thursday, at least for nine months. So there are some other skincare products that are going to be on sale. Um, Peach and Lily, but not the serum. Um... Mamond, Mamond sleeping lip mask. That was okay. Um, hey Tara, that was okay. In my opinion, I really did not like the taste of it. It tasted or it tastes. I still own it. It tastes like rub. It tastes like alcohol, which I didn't really like. But someone had told me that it had like AHA in it or something, which will exfoliate the lips over time. So that's kind of cool. Cause RX, they're all, in, they're like advanced nail, ad, advanced snail 92 all in one cream is going to be 50% off. And I actually like that product a lot. It's very, very dewy. It's very nice. And um, it, it really does give the appearance of glass skin, but it creates a really nice sticky base for all of your makeup. So it, it, it's like a cool product and I would look into it. Um, if you are interested, and it's going to be 50% off Sunday, September 16th. Um, Thursday, September 17th, we have some Tarte mascaras that are going on sale. Not too interested in that. The only Tarte mascara that I really love is my Tarte Man Eater. 
Uh, Dermalogica Calm Water Gel is going to be on sale. We have some MAC Select lip glosses that are on sale. I won't pick up any of those. I'm just not too interested. Just sort of zipping through the lip gloss options that they have too. It doesn't really even look like they have a pinky brown nude, so... Um, for, uh, First Aid Beauty Face Cleanser is going to be on sale the September 17th, though. That's probably a nice, basic, easy cleanser. I really hope that we're not at the bottom of the list. I think we have a couple more days to go. Ooh, this is not so bad. Uh... Friday, September 18th, Anastasia Beverly Hills has a brow starter kit, and it comes with, what does it come with? A mini brow definer, a mini dip brow gel, a mini brow whiz, and a mini clear brow gel. That's really nice. It's going to be 19 bucks. That's a really good price. Only four options, which kind of bugs me. Um, for reference though, I do use dark brown in the Anastasia brow, like in the Anastasia brow products, I use dark brown, but in their eyeshadow, or not eyeshadow, in their brow powder, I do like the shade Ebony. So... Uh, Moisture Surge from Clinique, 50% off. We don't care. Uh, Benefit Cosmetics, Boxo Powders. I guess their powder cheek products are going to be 50% off, but I am just not interested in those. I wish that they would do away with this ugly packaging. I guess the upside to the packaging, though, is that well, I guess there's a mirror in it, which is kind of stupid because who's using that mirror on that tiny thing? Um, I was going to say that the whole box is sort of like, you know, uh, will break down eventually. Won't be super great because there's a lot of color like ink on it, but it will break down eventually because they are cardboard. But the mirror in it is obviously not um, eco-friendly. I have not tried the Kosas mascara, but it looks pretty good from what I've been seeing. So the only product I'm really interested in on Friday, September 18th is that brow kit. I think that's a pretty good one. Saturday night, September, Saturday, September 19th. Um, it Cosmetics Bye Bye Foundation is going to be 50% off. I think that's a really good deal. I kind of wish it was the CC cream because we all really like the CC cream. But Bye Bye Foundation is basically the same thing. Oh, they have the oil-free version, though. The matte version. Hmm. I might look into that, to be honest. I might look into that. A Cosmetics Brush Bath, so their, like, spot cleaning brush product. It's not a bad brush cleaner. Personally, though, I like the Japanesque one best, but Ulta does not sell Japanesque anymore, so I had to buy a big... I, I have it over here, I think. Um... Yes, I bought a big thing of it. The Japanesque Makeup Brush Cleaner, the Citrus Scent. Oh, good. It's like uh, child-proof and chesty proof I guess. I'll have to figure that out later. But their Japanesque, their brush cleaner, the bomb. Unfortunately, I had to buy it from Amazon, though. I couldn't even buy it on their website website. So, yeah, but this stuff is really good. It It's the only spot brush spot cleaner that I like really really love uh, yeah I'm trying to though I'm trying to I know how to open like a medicine bottle but it's really like not working I don't know I'll have to figure it out later I'll have to figure it out later I'm sure when I actually need it I'll be able to get it open so 
Um, let's see. Oh, well, I've tried a knockoff version of Cinema Secrets, and the knockoff version was good, so I can only imagine that the actual version is good. The thing that I like about the Japanesque, though, is I have, like, spray bottles for it. I don't think I have in there. It's such a mess. Um, but I like that the Japanesque comes in a spray bottle, and I'll, I'll just use that big tub that I have and just keep using up my spray bottle. And there's going to be an It Cosmetics uh, airbrush full coverage complexion brush. So, yeah. Ooh, what Ulta employee strike? Okay, hold on. I'm going to... Oh, that was the last day. That was pretty... Not such a good last day. This palette, though, from Urban, though, I just got it. They just sent it to me. Do you guys want to see it? Um, this palette is actually really cute. I haven't played with it at all because I literally just got it today. I got it in the mail. But it is not bad. My mom sent me a picture of a car. Let's see what it says. This is the worst. Oh my God, I can't believe that's real. Literally, there's someone in North Carolina driving a car that literally says on their freaking license plate, NC for Trump. And then they have freaking Tom Tillis. You guys probably, if you're not from North Carolina, you guys probably don't know who Tom Tillis is. But like, eye roll. And then they have a bald eagle sticker on their car. So yeah, at least they're driving a Ford. I once saw like a big, uh, like a car, like a, a, a Kia, which is not an American made car, had like a bunch of freaking um, conservative, like Trumpster bumper stickers. And I'm like, you can't, like, you know, you're not even fitting the description. You're not even fitting it. Um, Oh my gosh, Shay, I'm in Charlotte too. Actually though, I already knew that about you because I definitely have already looked on your Instagram and stuff and I see like your planning things, like your planning, um, your planning photos and stuff. I love planning. And I did already see that you were in Charlotte and I was going to tell you that I'm also from Charlotte, but I didn't want to be creepy. Um, but yeah, the RNC was here. That was interesting um let me just show you guys this picture though because oh look literally nc for trump like imagine imagine doing that for free they're just it's just free publicity for this man but this is the palette it's actually really, really pretty. Oh, no, 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 Shay. Like, he went all out. Like, that's his car. That, like, that is his tag. He, I think that you have to pay for that. I think. I don't know. Um, but, yeah. How gorgeous is this? This is actually a pretty exciting new launch from Urban, in my opinion. I don't want to mess it up, but I'm going to take like a little video of it. Oh, yeah, that's, it freaks me out. That's nice of you, poor thing. Yeah, I guess he's just, you know, a little cuckoo. This palette is really pretty though. Like it has some, it, it has some beautiful textures to it.
I'm just gonna post it on my Instagram and then I'll swatch it. I'll swatch it for you guys. I just wanted to take like a little video of it. Okay, volume off because no one needs to hear my heavy breathing. Okay, I really want to dig into this one. Opal Aura. Oh, you guys. The Too Cool for School body scrub is going to be um, sold in Ulta's on September 18th is when they're going to start selling at Ulta. Oh my word. That is gorgeous. I love this. I'm going to swatch Jade. Jade was something, was a shade that I had my eye on. You guys. That's so pretty. Um, I did miss that question. No, I'm not gonna buy anything from Selena Gomez's Rare Beauty line. One, this is going to sound really horrible of me, but I just can't let it go. I have not grown up to like Selena Gomez literally for the only reason of the character that she played on Hannah Montana, Michaela. No, I didn't. I think I'm pretty sure it was Michaela. I did not like that bitch. No, like she was coming for Miley. She was coming for Hannah. I did not like it. it no, I've never been able to get past it. Never been able to get past it. Um, I respect it though. I like that she is. Um, I like that she's trying to do her own thing, you know? She's been very, very good uplift uplifting Black voices and using her platform in a very good way. So, um, why am I low-key bitter with Selena? Yeah, that's literally why. But, um, yeah, well, what's funny is okay so I these are just gorgeous but I'm going to where's a thing so oh my lipstick drawer is right here um okay so the thing about celebrity makeup brands I have no problem with celebrities launching brands I get it they've been um oh thank you yeah that's something that I think about a lot um because I genuinely think like my mom so fucking beautiful like i look at her and just like hope that i can just you know be so beautiful and like woman like like her one day um because she's really just so beautiful and when i see myself in the mirror sometimes i'm really insecure but then i remember like you know i have so many features of my mom so why shouldn't I just like be proud of who I am and what I look like and pictures of my grandma when she was younger I feel like like ever since I was little and I saw pictures of my grandma when she was younger I always felt like our face shape was very similar so yeah it's just things like that I just think it's you know a nice way to to look at things like that um okay so back to how I feel about um, celebrity cosmetic lines. Wilma, Wilma, why are you chewing that? She's chewing up my Kira Weiss boxes. Why are you doing that? This is not good for you. It's not good. So celebrity makeup brands, I don't care about them. Because people get canceled all the freaking time. Like, although Selena Gomez, Lauren Conrad, they are pretty neutral celebrities as far as celebrities go. Like, they're pretty neutral. But celebrities get canceled all the time. 
I don't want to waste my money on, on cosmetics from like a celebrity who I'm not personally a fan of now. Yeah. If Miley ever dropped a beauty line, it would be game over, but Miley's style would more be like, she's dropping. I don't know. Handmade earrings that like the homeless youth and, Los Angeles are making that's that's more Miley speed and I would definitely be supporting it um let me show you guys though because these are my special limited edition mac lipsticks um so I have both of Miley Cyrus's Viva Glam lipsticks I never used them she did like a bright orange this was her second Yes, because the first, the pink one was the first one. Um, so she did like a hot pink one with MAC. And if you guys don't know about the Viva Glam collections, um, they do donate to AIDS, like AIDS research. And then here's the other uh, Miley Viva Glam. So she did two lipsticks for, with them. I don't wear them. They're not my colors, but I, I just bought them because I love Miley so much. And those were, those are like years and years and years old and they're just collector's items. So I'll always, always have them. And then I have a lip gloss in here too, but I guess it's not that important. going to need to go through all of this stuff. I just have so much. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know where it's at. I also think going back to like the mom and grandmother thing. My bad. I also like thinking about it in terms of, of like, both of those women are not going to be in my life forever. I don't want to think about it past that. But it will be amazing being able to look in the mirror one day and being able to see my mother's features in my face. It it And that is what will be beautiful to me about my face. It won't be, it won't have anything to do with my flaws and my face being uneven, this eye being smaller than the other eye, this eyebrow being lower, my chin being uneven. I won't see any of that. I will just see me and I will see the features that my mother passed on to me. So yeah, it's just a nicer, a nicer, much more pleasant way of being able to look at yourself and not not be so hard on yourself. Um, okay. Yeah. I think the reason why Fenty Beauty was so successful though is because Fenty was already a line. Like it was already a line of What was Fenty a line of? Like I think that she already had her lingerie line before Fenty Beauty. So Fenty was already aligned. So it was an extension of Rihanna's brand overall. I think that just worked. Also, Rihanna doesn't solely own Fenty Beauty. So I think it just makes sense for why Fenty Beauty did so well. I think Lady Gaga's like house labs flopped. Kesha, I didn't even see the light of day. Um, Nicki Minaj's Viva Glam, I think was a big deal too. I think my mom had that one. That was a big Viva Glam. Um, what if it was a celebrity you absolutely adore slash am obsessed with? I don't know. I don't really. Um, I 
I think the last celebrities to come out with makeup that made sense were the Kardashians. And I know that people don't agree with that at all. Like they don't agree that the Kardashians should have came out with makeup. I think that it just made sense because their whole world is very materialistic. Um, I don't like makeup is my whole world. I literally have drawers and drawers of it, but I'm going to say vain in a way. Um, I don't really think of makeup as being vain though, but you guys know what I mean. They're like the Kardashians lives are very like revolved around that. And, um, Oh, that would be so funny if they came out with makeup lines. But I think that the Kardashians coming out with makeup lines like Kim and Kylie, that just made sense. I think that Kylie's brand appeals to people who like Kylie and Kim's brand appeals to people that like Kim or just the Kardashians. And I think it just works. But I just don't know if celebrity makeup brands make all that much sense all the time. But I don't care about that. Like, I don't care if the industry is saturated. I don't care if people come out with brands that aren't um, makeup artists or beauty influencers. People even have an issue with uh, beauty influencers. They have an issue with them coming out with makeup lines. It doesn't bother me. I can see how coming out with a makeup line would be something that someone who loves makeup would want to do if you have the means to do it. Because if I have the means to come out with a makeup line, I would come out with a makeup line, probably. I have a lot of guilt around the whole process of coming out with a makeup line though, because I don't really want to contribute to waste in that way. It would have to be a very, very specific like, I would have to think about it hardcore. But I could totally see how, like, a Selena Gomez grew up around makeup, grew up around having people do her makeup, grew up around products, and just, you know, probably experimenting with makeup herself. I can see how her coming out with a makeup line would make sense for her because, one, she has the means to do it, and two, it's a really fun, creative outlet. Make makeup is creative. Um, it's sort of like celebrities coming out with books or their their fashion collabs. It's It's sort of like that. It's just... Yeah, it's just another creative outlet for celebrities to put money into and get money back. Yeah, they're turned off by celeb makeup brands because they're already famous and they would have an easier time gaining that success that people didn't start off famous didn't have. Yeah, um, absolutely. I think, you know, Selena Gomez coming out with a makeup brand, there's thousands of girls that would love to come out with a makeup brand that don't have the means to do it financially. Um, or there's thousands of businesses that want to, that have makeup brands that won't be as successful as Selena Gomez's half-assed makeup brand is going to be. And it just, it, it is what it is because celebrity makeup brands are just going to naturally be popular or have discussion around it because they are celebrities. Yeah, the celebrity makeup lines only work if they have a definite style and the vibes um, or like unique products and formulas. I think that's why Fenty did so well, but I, like Fenty isn't owned exclusively by Rihanna. So I think that Fenty did well is because they, the owners knew how to market beauty. I think House Labs had the potential of being like a cool celebrity makeup line, but I think the fact that it's sold on Amazon is kind of weird. And like, you either get it on Amazon or you get it on houselabs.com. I think that that's kind of weird. There's not really other celebrity makeup lines that I'm interested in. Um, I get way more excited about not excited, I would say, but just way more understanding of when like a beauty YouTuber comes out with a makeup line. I really like Honest Beauty. Are they good for people of color? 
So they do make some blushes that are pretty nice. Um, this blush in particular, I think, would show up on a lot of different skin tones. And it is the um, Plumberry. So this one would show up nicely on, on a lot of different skin tones. Bye. Good night. It's nice and deep, but can be sheared out. And you can use it as a lip and a cheek cream. But their tinted moisturizer, they only have three shades. But, or no, I think they have four shades of the tinted moisturizer. The medium, so they have a fair, a light, a medium, and a deep, I think. The medium that I picked up is so dark. It is so dark. I can actually show you guys right now. I might as well. If you guys are keen on hanging out. So I actually have this in my bag because I'd like to go return it. This is the medium. It's so dark. How dark is that? In what world is that a medium? This is definitely like a tan, tan at least. I have, let me show you in comparison to My Morphe 2 Hint Tint Skin Tint. Morphe 2 Hint Tint Skin Tint, shade that matches me. Honest Beauty Medium. What? What? This is crazy. Um, I got a piece of paper stuck to my foot. How crazy is that? What in the world? So, do I have a makeup wipe here? I don't usually have makeup wipes. What's back there? Dang, I don't think I do. But yeah, that's crazy. I really like the Morphe Hint Tint Skin Tint. Um, seven, $17 for Morphe too. What was the question? Undone? Undone cream blush. I like more. Um, I will say, Caitlin, I don't know um, where you are in skin tone in relation to me, but the rose pink shade is really cute too from Honest Beauty. It just looks like this. I'm really swatching up. It's like, it has some pretty good color payoff. It's pretty cute. I personally love the Honest, or the Undone Beauty blushes though. My all time favorite cream blushes, honestly, out of any brand, high end, or drugstore. No, my Honest Beauty, my Undone products have never broken me out. That is sad to hear. That is the shade. Rosewood. Sorry, you guys probably can't see. I need a makeup wipe. Let me see if I have some undone package or some. Oh, wait, I think I have one in here. <gasps> yes, I have these Billy wipes. I haven't seen Jen Loves Beauty um, AOC video. Did she do uh, like a recreating her look? Because I would watch that. Yeah, the Undone Beauty blushes are pretty good in my opinion. Okay, so since I have you guys here with me right now, I wanted to get your opinion on something. 
You are going to love the Clinique Fig Pop. You're going to love it. So I wanted to get your opinion. I made the decision to not talk about Glossier on my channel. I don't want to get into why because I have a whole video on why I am not talking about Glossier right now on my channel or just not promoting their products. And if you want to watch that video, be my guest. It's not very long. It's like six minutes. But I'm not going to get into it. I'm not going to, we're not going to have a discussion on that. But I want to get your opinion on how you guys feel about me doing a um, Glossier dupes video, but not having Glossier products in the video. Because I, you know, I made the decision to stand with the Glossier retail employees. That was my own decision. Not like no shame in anybody who wants to continue using their Glossier products on camera or continue to buy from Glossier. No shame. It's a, they're a really good cosmetic line. Like they have some good, they have some bangers, but I have so many Glossier dupes still. Um, I don't have a dupe for the Gen G. I'll keep looking. I'll keep looking. So, so my follow up to that, should I do Glossier dupes in the title or how should I title that? Because I don't really want people to, it would be different anyway. It would be different because I wouldn't be featuring any of the Glossier products. So I don't know. I definitely think that putting Glossier in the title is obviously very clickbaity. Like it's very eye catching. So that's something to consider. But I don't know. Because there's some products lately that I have been Cheap, minimalistic makeup. I like that. I like that. Um, yeah, true. Dupes for a brand we don't talk about. <laughs> Affordable, natural makeup. I can't review Quo Beauty or Q Beauty. I don't know how you say it. I can't review that because um, it's in Canada. Cheap, minimalistic makeup. Dupes for canceled brands. I think that's funny. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Affordable Gen Z makeup. I think that's interesting. Weird. I definitely didn't set, they didn't ask though. So maybe that was just it. Um, dupes for brands we don't talk about. Yeah, I say I'm a cusp, a Gen Z millennial cusp because a lot of the millennial traits don't qualify for me. Like I don't really identify as a lot of the things that millennials identify as, but Gen Z's are very bold and I'm not bold. So like I'm a true cusp of the Gen Z millennial. I feel like they're going to have to get a hold of the uh, generation timelines because in the age of technology, you cannot group 10 years of freaking ages. You cannot group like 10 year spans into one generation. You just can't do that. Generations are going to have to be like five years or something because think about it like they're going to have to think about it in terms of who's going to school together when because, yeah, you can't. 
Um, Zillennials. I was born at the end of 1996. So November 26, 1996. So I'm like a cusp. I've seen different things about 1995 being for 1995 and older being um, Gen Z. And then I've seen things where it's like 97 being Gen Z. So yeah, that's why I feel like I'm a cusp. How do people, tr how to trick people into thinking you snatched when really you're looking like a rat? <laughs> no, Caitlin, I'm just immature. <laughs> do dupes for popular IG brands and blur glossy logo in the thumbnail. Bitch, that's so good. That is so good. Popular IG brands and blur glossier logo in the thumbnail that's funny that is something to consider to really cheap af and sweaty that's funny these are all good suggestions i like the affordable gen z makeup one i like the blurring i think that's freaking funny Po dupes for popular IG brands. That's funny. Oh, thank you, Alexa. That was very sweet. Has Glossier addressed the situation at all? Um, yeah, they have. I don't really want to get too into it. It's just not really my uh, my space to talk about it. Because it's it's. Really, I am just siding with the retail employees. I will back them up. It was my choice to do that, and it is what it is. So whenever the retail employees feel like they have gotten justice for their workspace. Bite-sized eyeshadow palettes are nice. Dupe for Lash Slick. Let me... Oh, it's in the other room. The Wet n Wild Mega Length in the Pink Tube is a good dupe for Lash Slick. That's a good dupe. I know because I really like my... Yeah, Caitlin, that's a good idea. I definitely will add like Glossier, Glossier dupes and stuff like that just to alert the masses. But my Kylie Jenner pressed eyeshadow palette, I love, I love this palette. I've like never hit pan on eyeshadow, be on eyeshadow before, but I hit pan on Kylie Jenner's. But I'm just not really talking about it on my channel. Just because I don't want to bring them. Bring the Jenners and the Kardashians more money than they already have, so. Yeah. I also have, like, opinions on the uh, direction of Glossier. I think that because we're seeing a lot more brands come out with their version of Glossier products. I do think that Glossier and a lot more indie brands because, um, ah, thanks. I love live streaming. It's like my favorite thing to do. But I think that we're going to see a little direction change with, um, Glossier and how much people love Glossier because we're seeing a lot more brands come out with their version of Glossier makeup. And just, we're seeing other products on the market where before Glossier was the market. Like before you could not get products like Glossier outside of Glossier. Now you could in a way, obviously, you could get some other things, but 
I think we have so much more variety now. And I think the issues that people had with Glossier before, you know, we just have variety. So I think we are going to see a, you know, a almost push out of Glossier products. You know, I think if they came out with a bronzer, if they came up with a bronzer, maybe that would be different. That would be their saving grace, the bronzer. Tower 28, for example. I think Tower 28 is honestly coming up. I think that they should consider other products. Sarah, I agree. A lot of their products are very unique. The Gen Z lipsticks, very unique. Future Dew, very unique. I have a whole Glossier drawer. What is in here? Sky washes. I know people don't like the sky washes. I personally think the sky washes are very good quality, like very usable. Um, lip glosses, I think, are nice. They do have some top-notch, high-quality, very unique products. But I do think we are going to be seeing more variety in the Glossier makeup-esque space. Kaylin, I love Ordinary Oils. I really do. The only thing that I don't... The only thing about Future Do is it's not an oil. So, like... I wish that another brand would dupe would dupe the future do because I like that it's the oil hybrid. I think that that's, that's it. I have not tried Tower 28 blushes. I think I definitely will because people ask all the time. I might as well try it um, one of these days, but I have not tried tw Tower 28 blushes. I will want to though. I'm excited for the Tower 28 um, Milky Lip Glosses. Those look so good, you guys. Those look so, so good. That might be my next thing, is trying to find a dupe for Future Do. Like, I want a true dupe. What I could see being a dupe is, like, mixing... Sorry, Wilma girl. I have not tried M Cosmetics um, blush, those serum blushes. I haven't tried that before. Maybe one day. What I could see a dupe for future do is mixing in a very thick, balmy moisturizer in with the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector liquid. I could totally see that becoming like a dupe in a way. But... What's my feeling on cow print? I think it's cute. I was really envious of AOC's uh, cloud print blazer. I thought that, that was really cute. Um, my sister, I bought her a pair of cow print clay earrings, which was cute. I think it's a cute trend. I think it's nice. Um, I like nude sticks. I have like a full face of nude sticks that I did. I think that their tinted moisturizer is pretty nice. The nude sticks... Um, I really need a declutter. I need to declutter bad, especially with me moving. Ooh, Wander Beauty Nude Illusion Liquid Foundation. This stuff is pretty nice. I didn't get anything from the Nordstrom Anniversary Beauty Sale. Usually, like, I love shopping like I love going to the mall but I haven't been in the mall since January maybe I haven't been to the mall in so long um the nude sticks shade six in the nude sticks tinted moisturizer I'm shade six I'll check out their sale online though. I really miss going to the mall. Makes me sad. Maybe I will one day early morning be the first person there. Maybe I will one of these days, but probably not. It just doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel right. 
Um, would you ever talk more about your PCOS? Yes, I do really want to talk about my PCOS, um, especially because if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, you guys probably should, like just plugging. Um, but I am very, very interested in buying a period cup, like a diva cup, but not diva cup. <coughs> uh, sorry. I'm very interested in buying a diva cup. And... I am going to buy one for my next cycle, which will be three weeks. So I'm going to buy one for my next cycle. I'm going to use it. I'm going to film it. I'm going to film my experience trying it. And in that video, I am going to talk about my PCOS and having it and stuff. Um, I will say, though, I am not that knowledgeable on PCOS because I was like 12 when I found out that I had it. And I've been on birth control ever since. So my body's been super regulated hormone wise. And yeah, it just hasn't had that much of an effect on my life other than I have to take birth control every day. My um, hormones before birth control were so whack. And I can kind of explain that before or I'll explain that in the video and stuff. And it did cause like a lot of problems in my body before, but since I've been so regulated for so long, it's, I, I've had a pretty smooth experience with this. Sandy, that's really nice to hear that your school decided to do online. Cause I know that you had said that I think it was your se it's your senior year. And you had said that, um, you were going to be going in person. Fave three products all time from Ulta. Jesus. I don't know. I have to have a category. You have to give me a category <laughs> because I don't know what three products out of all of the 20,000 SKUs that Ulta has. I cannot just pick three. Cannot. Um, yeah, I think it is a perfect time to start a period cup. I also just... So if you guys had caught my... Um, if you guys had caught my recent favorites, I talked about my reusable pads, and I really like them. They're from Rayelle. They're very high quality. They are very, very comfortable, and I've been liking them a lot because um, I just, my period's not that heavy, so I always felt like opening up a pad to wear overnight was just so wasteful, so I went ahead and got some reusable panty liners or, like, reusable pads, and those have been working really well for me, and I really want to try a Diva Cup. I finally have worked up the confidence to do so. Yeah, I finally have worked up the confidence. Another, like, another reason why I want to try a Diva Cup, someone had said this to me, um, like, responding when I was talking about wanting to try one, and they were talking about how it's so much nicer when you're out in public and you don't have to worry about changing your sanitary products because you don't have to change the Diva Cup you know, however many times. Hi, Amy. You don't have to change it. So it's perfect for like public use. I might have watched Robbie, Robbie De Christie's period cup video when she per first per posted it a while ago. I did watch Sam's though. And she, I know it's bad. I know it's bad. Should I go back on the bed? Um, I might get back on the bed, but well, no, I'm not going to get back on the bed because I need to show you guys my favorite face blush and bronzer first. So a locked character. What was I saying? Oh, I watched Sam's and Sam's was pretty convincing. I still want to try it. So I'm going to. That is crazy. That is crazy. Um, yeah, I really want to try it. I'm convinced I'm going to make it work. I 
I'm, I finally feel confident enough to do so. Favorite face blush and bronzer. So the first thing that came to mind, my Bare Minerals Bare Pro Performance Wear Liquid Foundation. Top favorite. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, it just is what it is right now. The, the lighting it just can't get any better than this. Um, unless maybe I use my phone flash. This is better. I'm sorry. I told you it wasn't going to get any better, but it, it did. Um, so yes, my bare minerals fave Becca for bronzer, Becca bronze Bondi, a fave. And Clinique Fig Pop, a fave. Those are my top three face blush bronzers from Ulta Beauty. Um, you are going to love the Athena Club. You're going to love it the Athena Club deodorant. I did try out a new one today because I, I picked up a two more to include in my video and I uh, got this brand. Let me get it. Well, how do you call it? Beekman? Beekman or something? It's okay. It's worked for pretty well. It's kind of expensive though. It's like a little bit more expensive. It's a few dollars more expensive than the Athena Club one. So I don't know, pretty comparable though. I think the Athena Club one smells better though. Yeah, I was going to recommend vitamin C for getting rid of um, hyperpigmentation and acne scars. Vitamin C works very, very well in my skincare routine. Um, body product video. Yeah, I love body products. I think I will. Um, I'm actually going to do a, like, I'm going to have to figure out how I want to word it because I really want to do like a morning routine sort of video, but I lost my train of thought. I want to do a morning routine video, but Athena Club actually wants to sponsor the video. So I'm going to be using their razor in the morning routine video, but I don't shave my legs every morning. So I want to do sort of like a, well, how can I do like a morning, like a morning routine self-care? Um... Yeah. But it's specifically morning though, because I want to do like a shower. Like I want to do like my morning shower, take you guys through my morning and then like, like show you guys what I eat for breakfast and stuff like that. So <gasps> yeah, that's so cute. Um, Ooh, start the week with me. Uh, that's kind of a good one. Sunday morning self-care. You guys are really like pulling through with all the video ideas. I have to write this down. Um, my little Muji notebook. Let's see. I really like that. Start the week with me. And hopefully by this time my planner will be in so I can like plan too. Um, Sunday morning self-care. 
I like those. Those are really good ideas. Thank you, guys. Um, treat yourself morning, self-indulgent morning routine. I really like these. These are good. What else did I need an opinion on? I'm really excited, though, because the sort of, like, morning routine video that I want to film is going to be very relaxing like I really want to try and make it r relaxing and make it like a voiceover so you guys are just like there with me experiencing it with me and then you guys can like watch it as you're getting ready I really am excited for this video high effort morning routine high effort I think that's funny I have not tried sugar waxing. I like my hard wax too much to venture out. Someone asked about my planning goals. Uh, what? Who asked me about my planning goals? Alexa T, do you have, oh, any planning goals? I thought that you had said planning goals, and I was like, yes, I'm not talking about my new planner. But no, um, panning goals. No, not really. Um, I have a couple of mascaras that I need to finish up with, but yeah, mascaras I need to finish. Sugar waxing looks sticky, though. It just looks sticky. Let me tell you guys, I did not really like this bronzer. This Kosas bronzer. I don't like it. I don't think it's very good. I got it in the shade medium. So, when am I moving? I am moving some furniture in tomorrow. Um, and me and my boyfriend are going to be officially moving in next month. I need a little bit of extra time. He needs to find a job. Um, he like is pretty financially secure, but like we would like to go, like he would like to get a job before he takes on like a monthly rent. So we are just going to wait a little bit longer for him to get like a job. And I would like more time being in my home. I would like more time with my family. So we'll officially go next month. We'll officially be moved in. Yes, the chair and the bookshelf are gonna be in the um in the new house. And they are all like I'm gonna set up the beauty room as much as I can tomorrow. I'm so excited. Um, yeah, they're beautiful. They are perfect. Um uh, we've been dating for a little over a year now. Um, March, I forget the day that we started dating. March 8th, I think, of last year. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, a year and a half we've been dating. He's probably my... For, he's he's probably the guy that I'm going to end up with because we just work so well together. Um, we're like a really, that's like, I would love to like talk about relationship stuff with you guys because I feel like I have some pretty good experiences, like pretty normal, um, very normal like dating experiences that I think have taught me a lot. And I'd love to talk about dating. Like I love it. Um... But yeah, he's probably my forever person because we just work really well together. It's like a true partnership, in my opinion. Yes, I do want to start a podcast. Um, probably more when I move out, though, because I'll have, like, my own little space. So this is my hair. This is how it came out, Amy. Um, can't, you can't tell. You can't tell. I don't mind it, though. I actually like it. There are some wave definitions definition in the bottom and my hair is just very frizz free and relaxed and 
healthy looking, so I don't mind it. I think I'm going to still play with the products. The weird thing, though, is that with the Curlsmith products, I was I used the gel, and I, the review said the gel was so, like, crunchy. So I was expecting to have to scrunch it, and I didn't have to scrunch it. Like, it, it just doesn't get crunchy on me, which I think is a little bit annoying because I would like to scrunch the crunch because I would like my hair to be a little bit more defined. You can't tell. It's fine though. You should do move in vlogs, like decorating vlogs and shit. I love watching people decorate their homes. Yeah, definitely, definitely doing some move out, move in vlog. I did dilute it. Um, I am probably gonna try it without water next time. I'm going to have lots and lots of moving vlogs. Move in vlogs. I'm going to have room tours, like my, like our couple room tour. And I'm going to have my beauty room tour. I plan on doing fucking like grocery store hauls. Like I cannot wait to have my own space to do all of this stuff. I love, I love lifestyle videos. I love lifestyle videos. Lifestyle videos are the best. I love them. I have thought about maybe like not doing another another channel for vlogs, but thinking about like what if I wanted to do like another channel. Um, but I think I'm going to keep all of my stuff on the chan this channel because I think that, you know, a lot of people end up making second channels. They end up forgetting about them. They end up not doing anything with them. I don't really want to do that. I've always also found that like just having one platform is better. So yeah. I'm so glad about that. I've been really liking my hair journey. It's a little up and down. Um, Right now I'm having some downs. The past few times I've washed my hair have been downs, but I do, I don't know, I'm still happy with it. I'm still happy with the transition. Yeah, I'm going to keep, I'm gonna keep all my content on this channel. The only thing that I would consider making another channel for is my podcast, but for, like uploading the long episodes and stuff. And I don't know if I'll film, probably, maybe. I might as well. A lot of people don't like listening to the podcast, but um, I might film the podcast. I think that would be cool. We'll have to see how much I can edit them because I edit like a lot of my talking out when I'm filming, but I think this would be a little bit different. It'd be like a little bit more like a live stream, but not a live stream. I've always wanted curly hair. My hair is like weirdly shaped. People have curly hair, want straight hair. I guess we all just want what we can't have. Yeah, I think that's pretty, pretty accurate. We all want what we can't have. Right now I'm liking my hair though. Um, I think cause I am changing it up. It was like just definitely necessary. Bye, Kaylin. I'm glad that you hang out, hung out with us. Um, yeah, I did. I did buy stuff for a podcast. I bought a little mic. I haven't opened it yet. I just bought all the little equipment. I have a good name for the podcast too. And one of the ideas that I wanted for the first video or one of the first episodes was to do like, what is that personality test? Like, what is that? Um, It's like with all the letters, what is that called? I wanted to take the personality test. Shay, yeah, message me. I'd love, I would love to, um, I would love to chat about 
podcasting and like what your intentions are with starting it. Yeah, M B I T M M B I M B T I M B T I. So 16 personalities. I want to do my first episode. Let me know if you think this is a good idea. I don't know if it's a good idea or not, but I would like to do my first episode on taking that quiz, figuring it out and saying whether I think that's true based on, you know, how I perceive my own self. Mm. I am BD or I am DB. That's funny. I would do a podcast on body image. That's a good one. Valerie, go on a run. Do it. I have some pretty, like, good ideas for my podcast, if I do say so myself. Body image is a good one, though. I should put that in my thing. Oh, I do have a body image episode. I also wanted to do an episode on leaving my parents' house and how that is so hard for me as a freaking adult because I can't be the only person that wants to live in their parents' house forever and is afraid of having a mental breakdown of not living with their parents. So I can't be the only one. So I want to have an episode on that. Thanks. Valeria, I hope that you have a nice um, run. Sandy, I didn't know you made videos on YouTube. I'll check them out. You always comment on all my videos and you're always in live streams. I'll definitely check them out. Let me copy your name before it goes up. Um, yes, I recognize people who are regulars and I also recognize people who comment on the video, like on, like on my videos, I always recognize, um, frequent commenters and stuff. I had an annoying person comment on one of my videos the other day. And the reason why I hadn't blocked her yet is because her comments are either like nice or very, very rude. And I ended up blocking her because the last comment that she had commented was like so rude and I just went ahead and blocked her because I couldn't like I didn't want to see any of her comments again um but I definitely recognized her The sex away from home gonna be lit. Yeah, definitely. Um, what were my other ideas? Ooh, this was kind of a funny one. Um, I wanted to make a podcast talking about all the brands that didn't want to work with me who have like messaged me about working with me and ended up backing out or not really so much this, this version of, of events, but like if I have reached out to a brand and they've said, no, I wanted to like kind of make a video talking about that and talking about my experiences with that my um, computer. Oh, I actually probably could have set it up over here because I'd like to continue hanging out. Yeah, because there was one brand that was like pretty juicy, honestly, for they didn't want to work with me. And then I saw the people that they did choose to work with. And it was just very interesting. Enjoy your night, Shay. I'm glad that you got to hang out and um, message me about podcasting. I'd love to chat. 
Um, so that would be a juicy episode. Oh, another thing. So I don't know how many of you guys um, get on Reddit, but the beauty guru chatter page on Reddit is really fun. It's a little toxic, not gonna lie, but I would also want to do like a podcast episode or like this could be like, you know, a regular bit on, on my podcast where I just read beauty guru chatter threads and talk about what I think. It wouldn't be drama. Like I wouldn't really want to, um, hold on, I'm gonna read Amy's message in a little bit. I, I always get distracted by the chat. I wouldn't want to submerge myself in drama. Like I, it wouldn't be me becoming a drama pod, but I think it would be in, like just an interesting little bit to do reading through the comments on Beauty Guru Chatter because I think it's just interesting to digest the way that people view um, internet celebrities and just interesting the way that they talk about them and also like the sides people take. I just think it's all interesting. Um, yeah, a little drama never hurt anybody. You're right. Um, that's so cool, Emma, that you found me through Reddit. That is so cool. Please recommend good Reddit, um, Reddit hubs, Reddit subs. I try to get into Reddit, but I can never find anything that's interesting. That's a good video. My favorite Reddits. So I'll tell you right now, um, oh, that's so, that's from so long ago, uh, my Milky Oil review, that is so long ago. Happy almost birthday. So my favorite Reddits are, ooh, eye bleach. Um, I really like Beauty Guru Chatter. I like the um there's like thrifting reddits that i really like i'm on beauty guru chatter right now oh my god i'm panicking what is it on okay hold on we'll see it's on the aoc video i hope it's okay okay hold on i'm literally shaking because it, like beauty guru chatter is toxic it's people can be so mean on beauty guru chatter but i have to go look i have to go read the comments okay let's see it's good things i really appreciate it when people do um post about me like people have posted about me before Palette cleanser. That is so cute. Oh, I'm happy about this. Okay. Okay, good. Oh, I'm about to be so nervous. Okay. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. These are so nice. Okay. They're really, they are really, really nice. Okay, good. Oh, sometimes people can be nasty on Reddit. Like, super freaking nasty. I, like, I had to email somebody one time. Not email them, but message them. Because, and this happened kind of recently. I won't get into it. Maybe in a podcast episode I will one day. Because I literally lost sleep over this fucking incident. But this person literally went on Reddit on Beauty Guru Chatter and started talking about like, t like t spreading lies about me and talking about me as if she knew me or as if they knew me and were assuming things about my life and the way that like I, you know, it, just my life, I'm not gonna go into it, but they were like assuming things and assuming things and speaking about it as if fact and I ended up messaging them and I was like, totally let me know if I'm stepping over boundaries here. Like, you know, whatever. Just wanted to let you know, I am Chessie. Like, I am the girl that you're talking about. 
and this, this, and that, like I set her straight because what she was talking about was not true. It was not, it was not true information. And I totally would have had like a conversation with her, pulled up receipts if she wanted. And yeah, no, she ignored me and like did not ever take down her comment. And she definitely was on Reddit like during the day, like making comments on other threads and stuff. But I did like, you know, obviously creep and I saw her um, like comment history a potster it just is what it is um just means you live in their mind rent free that's so funny but i really just like did not think that what she was saying was well one what she was saying was a lie but two like what she was assuming about me it really like hurt my integrity and my honesty and just, it really bothered me. It really upset me. So I messaged her because I felt like that was the right thing to do for me. And she never responded. Like she totally ignored me. I know she saw it. Like she had to have seen it. She totally ignored me and um, never took the comment down. So whatever. I mean, if I ever needed to pull up receipts, I could. Um, that's, you know, what matters at, at the end of the day, it's better that I am right than wrong. Like it's better that it's better that she's the one telling the lie and not me. So whatever. It just is what it is. People on the internet are mean, especially Reddit. Yeah. Especially Reddit. Cause there is like such a, um, yeah, they're so anonymous on Reddit. Amy, me neither. Mean leaving mean comments. I just don't get what the point is because, uh, like, I would never say any of that stuff in person to somebody, never. But some people they enjoy it. Some people they like it. Yeah. My close friends though, they get it. They get a fucking earful of me just like posting screenshots of like people leaving me nasty comments and being annoying people act tough on the internet but when you see them in real life they're the ones who show up to a fight and run away <laughs> yeah my favorite people to watch i let me let me Can you guys still see me when I get on a different browser? Okay. Okay, so you guys don't know this about me. Probably not. I love watching Aspen and Parker Ovard. I love them. I've watched I've watched Aspen Ovard. I've watched, um, yes, Aspen Ovard forever. Um, it's actually Aspen and Parker Ferris, but I love them. Like, literally think they are the sweetest, cutest little family um, I make my boyfriend watch them with me. I just really enjoy them. Aspen and Cove. Cove. I love Cove. Literally, like, if I ever saw Cove in person, I'd cry. I would literally start crying and this baby would be scared of me, but Cove is so cute. I love them. I love their little family. I think that it's very, very sweet. Um... Also, like, I don't, I don't want to uh, applaud their parenting because people parent in different ways, but I really love their approach to being a family vlogging channel and their approach with, like, how they are going, planning, on, of course, on how they are going to handle, like, um, 
Cove growing up and stuff and like their growing family. I just think that they do it very respectfully. Um, they post vlogs pretty frequently, but we also have to remember that like, how many hours are there in a week? However many hours in a week there are, we're really only seeing 30 minutes to an hour of their life a week. So there's so much more going on in their life every day that we don't see. So they still remain pretty private, um, in my opinion, and they still get to share their cute little life with us. So I really, really love them. So yeah, Aspen and Parker, I love watching them before bed. It is just so relaxing. I feel like I feel like I am just, you know, getting to watch this like nice, cute, happy little family and just having a good time. I also relate a lot to Aspen. I feel like our um, personalities are very similar. Yeah, I definitely feel that like there are family vloggers who exploit their children hardcore and I totally could see Aspen like if Cove, you know, like grew up and she was like, Hey mom, I really don't want to be in YouTube videos anymore. I totally think Aspen would be like, okay, no worries. Especially because Aspen, um, has said before, like her channel is about her. Like it is about Aspen. So her videos will really just be more about like her being the mom and her parenting and her doing, you know, this, this and that. So I really like that. If she came out with baby clothes, I'd buy them. Even if I didn't have a baby, I would buy them. Who else do I like? Um, I'm just looking at who's posted a video recently, too. Julia Adams. Love Julia Adams. Guilty pleasure. Guilty pleasure content for me. I really like Maddie and Emma McDonald. They're, they're a guilty pleasure for me, though, because some of the things that they do, I don't necessarily agree with. Not that I have to agree with everything that everyone does who posts on the Internet, um, but they just have so many sponsored videos all the time. And like, I get it. Like they are living a dreamy fucking life in in Boston. They are living the life. They are very privileged. Um, they have a sponsorship in every single one of their videos. I mean, if they're comfortable with that, it, it is what it is, but they are a guilty pleasure of mine. Main, mainly Maggie though, because Maggie is my age. Emma is younger. Emma is like my little brother's age. So I really don't relate to a lot of the things that she does or talks about because she's so young. But Maggie, I really like. I find her vlogs to be very, very relaxing, very, like, unwind from the day. Um, I like them. And kind of, like, inspiring, kind of. Um, Kelsey. Kelsey Kep Kepler? No. 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 Kelsey Kreppel. That's such a weird last name. I had not, I did not think her last name was Kreppel. Um, but Cody Co and Kelsey, love them. I think that they're so funny. Um, Emily Noel, classic. Love her. Amanda Z, love Amanda Z. Brooke, um, Brooke Mich Michio. Ma Brooke Mi Michio. I really like Brooke. Coco the Label. She's so cute. Um... Oh, yeah, she does sell baby clothes. You're right. So, yeah, Brooke, M Brooke Michio. I really like her. Kathleen Lights, obviously love. Um, Bella Fiore. Lindsay Rem. Love Lindsay Rem. She's so cool. I feel like we'd be friends. Um, Kendall Ray, I've been getting back into Rohini Elise. There was like a, well, she hadn't posted really on YouTube. I was going to say there was a period where she didn't really talk, um, post on post videos, but I've been getting really into her in terms of like, I've started listening to her podcast a little bit, um, mainly to get like inspiration for mine, not 
we're definitely going to be posting very different topics because she does a lot of like manifestation and her spiritual journey and stuff like that. Um, I won't be talking about that sort of thing, but I just wanted to know how she kind of does her podcast, the um, rhythm she gets into and stuff like that. It's really good. It's really well done. I'm enjoying it. Yeah. I watch a few people. I have a lot of people in my subscription. Um, I love that Maddie Bragg came back to YouTube. That was cool. I don't know if you guys um, watch Maddie Bragg, but. Yeah, Rohini Elise, she's really a vibe. You're right. I don't know that song. I love Midnight Sky from Miley, though. I listen to that literally nonstop. Nonstop. Love it. Oh, have a fun time. Oh my gosh, you're going to um, Nordstrom. Yes, because you're. it's a little bit earlier for you. Have a good time. Be safe. I'm glad that you um, were able to hang out for the live. This was super fun. Um, Yeah, but... Midnight Sky from Miley, literally the best song. I think I think it's my favorite Miley song since Space Boots. I really do think it's my favorite song since Space Boots. Um, you are kind of late. I think I am going to head out because um, my boyfriend has texted me and I think he wants to hang out. Midnight Sky is so good. It's such a good representation of, of who Miley is, how she's fucking grown up all these years. I love it. It's so freaking good. Um, but I am going to close out today's live stream. It had been a while since I live streamed and I'm so glad that I did. It was so nice to hang out with you guys. Um, oh my God, it's 2 AM. Literally go to bed, please. Oh, it's Friday night though. So who cares? Um, I loved hanging out with you guys though. This was such a good time. I will definitely try and do another live stream soon. Um, but yeah, thanks guys for being so awesome tonight. Um, I hope you guys have a good weekend and I'll see you guys in like whatever makeup upload I do next. Okay. Bye guys. I had such a good time.